Hi, we are going to test converting into reason using Translator 6. Here's Translator. It opens up really quickly and we're going to convert some gig files and some EXS files and some contact files. Observe the interface on Translator 6. You can see there's a favorites area where you can select things without drilling down. You can see all the different files you can do. We also uh, can read Akai format files and you can see the inside of that you can rename things in it but that's another video for another time let's convert into uh, EXS okay so we have a folder called reason test and you can see we have a gig file a contact file and an EXS folder of EXS files so let's do the gig file first this is the master translation dialog and you can select your program folder and your sample samples folder and you can see that we are converting into Reason, but you can see all the other formats that we convert to. You just select the ones you want to convert to. Now let's uh, convert into Reason and an XT. There's the Advanced tab, and you can see you have some options of what to do. None of these apply to our conversions as is now. Okay, so we're converting into from Giga, and you can see that it shows the different instruments in this gig file. You don't have to, to have this show, but I just wanted to show you that. Now it's converting into Reason. Each instrument converts into one or more SXT files, and it's going at it. You can see it's popping along here. It's There it is, and we're done. Okay, You can see it shows you where it's been placed. So now we'll refresh this folder. There's Trumpet, and here there's our files. You'll notice that some instruments, because it has key switches and Reason doesn't support it, it converted those separately. So we selected one of these, the Cup Sus, and we can see the instrument screen showing you the mapping and you can also see the individual samples too. See, it shows you which is which and you can select one of these things, shows the wave. And there's our sample and the, you can hear the loop is perfect. And again, you can uh, you can also do the autoplay and then just slip through. You can hear all these different things. Okay, so uh, let's convert something else. Well, let's see the gig file here. You can see the gig file layout is just like the reason one with the same samples. Okay, so let's go and convert the folder of EXS files. You can see the EXS24 folder, and you can see it has some Mellotron samples, three of them, the typical ones. I think these came from Mike Pinder Akai. And the way you convert them is to double click on the folder, and you see the bulk export window. And the source object, we, don't, we know that there's EXS files in there, but just in case you don't know what's in the folder, you don't have to go look, you can just say any. And we say convert into reason. So there it goes and it'll do each EXS file and tell you what its progress is. Oh, we can't find the samples. It's in a different location. They're bad links. I know where the samples are, so we just create a catalog. And they're in the Sampler Instruments folder. There's Mellotron and Samples. And that's where they all are. We don't have to find out where the specific sample is. We just need to get the general area and then it catalogs it for us. That's another convenience of Translator. So it's now it remembers where it, all the samples were and you don't have to do extra work. And there's our EXS files. And let's look at the EXS file and then, oh, it's exactly the same. And you can play them by just simply hitting the map, which you can't do with other converter programs. That's an advantage of Translator. And you can see the specifics of the sample. And of course, it, Mellotron in all its glory. Okay, here's a contact file. This uh, you see the samples are there, ethno mallet. This comes from Contact 3's factory library thing. So you just double click on that. It's the same thing. Now when you're doing contact to reason, it uses the same samples. Oh, we can't find those samples either. So let's create the catalog and they're in the mallet samples folder. And again, we just get the general area and, and boom, it's really fast. Converts it right off and oop, there it is. And there's all our samples. Again, you can just select one of them and play it back. And it's easy as pie. 
there we all are. Now, please remember that this video was not made by handpicking things. Oh, let's just let's go on a reason and see how these things load. Sorry, this is kind of an unprofessional thing here. Okay, there's our ethno mallet. Oop, it loads it right up. And see, there's all our uh, zones. You can go through them and see what they look like. Okay, let's, lo let's load another one. Let's do one of the Melotron ones, the mixed strings. Oop, loads right up. And there's all our nicely organized, just from left to right. You can see them all done out. And let's look at the, uh, the one of the uh, trumpets. Now the, the giga file that this came from, these were compressed samples in the gig file, which is not normal, but again, Translator takes care of this for you and you don't have to deal with it all. Notice there's no crashing, there's no problems, there's no nothing. Uh, this is typical with Translator. And please remember that uh, we didn't set this up as hand-picked, cherry-picked things. We just picked out some things to convert them for you. And this is just normal thing with Translator. Now, Translator can uh, uh, Translator can uh, crash every so often and stuff like that, but we're here for business hours and even 24 hours a day. We respond to everything very quickly. All other programs we know of don't have very good support. We support ours with a passion. We have zero tolerance for bugs, crashes, or anything. This should work just as you see it, just as we've shown you, just as we've uh, described for you. Thank you very much. Happy sampling and have a good day.